Photography takes an instant out of time, altering life by holding it still. This quote by Dorothy Lang captures the true essence of photography. The history of photography is long and oftentimes unknown, but the true history of photography is the ability to capture moments that'll last a lifetime. Every one of us is exposed to photography in a different way. Whether you have an iPhone or a DSLR camera, more often than not, professional photography can be underrated. So it's crucial to be able to understand this art form in its rawest way. Oftentimes, people who are behind the camera ask the question why they're taking photos or who they're taking the photos for, but these questions never need to be asked. The only thing that we need to know is that photography should be appreciated and it doesn't need an explanation. Photography is one of the most dated forms of expressionism, but the history of how photography has evolved and how it affects us is one of its most interesting elements. I myself have recently gotten more involved in photography. I purchased a DSLR camera, and I've learned how much photography has changed and how much it can affect people's lives. So next we're going to look into a little bit of where photography started. Where the first cameras began. The first camera came around in 4th century BCE and it was called the Camera Obscure. In an article from Contrastly.com, they speak on how the basic construction of the camera has stayed the same through most of time. Light enters through the lens and then the photos pop up on your screen. It took about 2,000 years for a new design to come out. The new design was um, using chemical reactions to create a photo. So this took about a week to do, which is a really long time considering now someone can snap a photo and they can have it on their laptop in seconds. So the next form of developing was called tintyping. And tintyping allowed people to develop photos in a matter of minutes. So that was a pretty big step for photography. So now that we've discussed that, we're gonna move on to how photographers capture and develop images today. Um, how photography has influenced visual arts for us. In an article by John Capogorn, Capo Negro, he speaks on how photography has allowed us to freeze extraordinary moments and to see into the smallest and largest aspects of life all through a lens. Photography has changed how much events have been captured, how they're spread, and even how people react to them. Um, the invention of the iPhone was one of the biggest influencers here. So now people can snap a photo, edit it, process it, comment it, and post a picture all in under a minute. All of this here provokes creativity and also provokes communication in our society. So now that we understand just how much this technology has influenced us, I'll speak on how photography is going to change in the future with all of the technology that we have access for us. So in the future, the, the outlook for photography is that the era for it is going to be essentially over. We have to recognize this change, address it, and find out how we're going to make photography new again. In an article from Time Magazine, they say that digital, digital capture quietly but definitively severed the optical connection with reality, that the physical relationship between our object photographed and the image that differentiated lens-made imagery and defined our understanding of photography for 160 years. So what is the new definition of photography? Kevin Connor best describes it, that computational photogra photography is over. It is still involving, but he likes to think of it as a shift from using a camera as a picture-making device to a camera that's going to be a data-collecting device. The future of cameras is more or less going to be an app, so we're going to use it to collect data. Um, the camera is going to have the ability to use satellite, GPS, thermometers, and essentially will allow us to create a virtual reality for ourselves. But there is downsides to this, so the threat that this can impose is that with developing all this new technology, we're also going to have to develop technology that can detect the fakery. So although we can create these virtual realities, we have to be able to know when something we're looking at isn't real. So although there is risk, this creative opportunity for artists to express themselves is something that we can't ignore. So the review of my points. Today, I first described to you the history of photography and where it all began. Secondly, I showed you just how much photography influence us, influences us in our daily lives. And finally, I gave you insight into where photography is going to go in the future. Photography is one of the most dated forms of expressionism. 
but the history of photography and how it's evolved is its most interesting element.